What's up YouTube, this is Fate bringing you another deck profile and today I'm going to be showing you a very special deck profile today. As uh, many of you have already known, um, I've just started recently watching this other Yugi tuber named uh, Kogarasho and I found a couple builds of his that I just couldn't help but uh, take a liking to and uh, just had to build them in real life. This is one of them right here, so without further ado, let's get on to this Convulsion of Nature deck profile. For starters, we run Triple Armageddon Knight, easily the key cards to make all the engines run in this deck. If you can get them onto the field as quick as possible and get a level 4 special summon on top of it, then uh, you're off to a very strong start uh, in this deck uh, at all times. Then for one of the other key cards, we've got 3 Absolute King Backjack. Now obviously since this is a Convulsion of Nature deck, so you, it's basically a deck that you have to know what's coming next. So with the Absolute King back check, it gives you a lot of knowledge power for that. I think in Kogarashio's build he uses two of these guys. I decided to up that to three just because of the slight variation style in my, my version. I always like uh, knowing uh, more often what is out there. And then uh, we've got uh, double Archfiend Errors. And more of a minor key component, but uh, either way, for that initial uh, startup play, she is definitely key to uh, getting out your uh, main spell card, uh, which is uh, Archfiend's Oath right here. So it'll allow you to add that, have that extra draw power whenever you uh, go off on your uh, Convulsion plays. Next we have a Double Summoner Monk, very good in this build, plenty of level 4s to special summon with his effect, especially if you can combo this guy off with Armageddon Knight to use Armageddon Knight's mill effect, go into the Lavavel Chain, use his mill effect, or use his stack on top of the deck effect, it provides um, a lot of strong starts for your combos. Then for the other dark supports, uh, we've got one Blackwind Zephros. Another good level for a special summoner, and those for those times that when you're using Convulsion of Nature and you see that what your opponent's getting next, and you don't want them to draw that card, it's very fun to use the first effect, special summon himself, and bounce Convulsion back to your hand. And then for uh, the other part of the deck that makes this uh, able to OTK is the main guy right here, Dark Arm Dragon. The level of dark uh, attribute control in this deck is insane. Whether it's Absolute King's Jax effect, Zephyr's effect, or some other monsters that we'll get to in a second, Dark Arm Dragon is phenomenal in this deck and provides most of your OTK plays. For the other level 4 special summoners, I've got Triple uh, Heroic Challenger Assault Halberd. Very, it's a very good level 4 monster. Cyber Dragon effect, Piercer. And whenever he deals damage, he can search himself, so it just provides uh, advantage that, uh, throughout the game, uh, especially the early parts. And then for added uh, Dark Attribute Monster Control, we've got two uh, White Dragon Wyvern Bursters. Again, just another level 4 with a special summonable, pretty decent stats, and that Grave, contro grave Control makes a Dark Armed Dragon that much more alive in this build. So that's it for the monsters. On to the spells. We run triple reinforcement of the army. Mainly to get to the assault halberds for the free special summon. Or to uh, get off uh, those uh, Armageddon Knights uh, right off the bat. Like I said, a key card to lead off with uh, in most of your games. And having triple rota just uh, adds to the consistency. Next we run triple instant fusion. More or less to get to your level 4 fusion monsters to continue on with those uh, level 4 uh, Exceeds plays that help fuel the build as well. Definitely a uh, welcome deed uh, for this uh, build. Then next we run Triple MST. I don't have a problem running this card at 3 in this build at all. Whether you face if you're facing a back row heavy deck, then this helps a lot, and even if you're not up against one of those builds, got a couple summoner monks in the build, having that live MST in your hand uh, still feeds uh, all of those other plays. 
and then for the two main portions of the deck, run triple Archfiend's Oath. For those of you that don't doesn't know what this card uh, does, so once per turn you can pay 500 life points, then declare one card name, excavate the top card uh, of your deck, and if it's the declared card name, add to your hand, otherwise send it to the graveyard. Especially when you're using cards constantly like uh, Backjack and Convulsion of Nature, it is extremely often you, that you actually know what exactly is uh, coming up next. So Archfiend's Oath, granted it's a 500 life points uh, payout, but those pluses are real in this build and this just helps create so much advantage. It's fantastic. And then the main card to go with them, I run 2 Convulsion of Nature. Now for, uh, for some reason, if you don't know what this card does, Basically what this card does is, as long as this card remains face up on the field, both players must uh, turn their respective uh, decks upside down, then proceed with the duel. A lot of fun helps you uh, know what your opponent's game next, and apparently from what I've been reading lately, also a very good uh, way to get yourself banned from DN, so fun times all around. And then for the other two one ofs, we've got one Allure of Darkness. And one foolish burial to kick those monsters to the graveyard to facil facilitate those plays that much more. That's it for the spells on to the trap lineup. I'm going to say from Kogorashu's build, I did go a little more trap heavy with this build because I didn't think some of the, some of the negation power was quite adequate enough, but for my trap lineup, I run triple uh, breakthrough skill. An excellent combo piece, especially with Absolute King uh, Backjack. Because Backjack's other effect, you can uh, bash him uh, during your opponent's main phase, excavate the top card, and if it's a normal trap card, you can set that directly to the field and it can be activated that turn. And it's because of that combo that this build has actually won me tons of uh, Satellar Knight matchups. It uh, has enough speed to go blow for blow with them and gain that timely breakthrough skill that you just stack on top of your deck then launch during your opponent's turn just creates a lot of havoc for them and it's uh, like I said fantastic run double call of the haunted mainly uh, just to get that recurrent uh, Armageddon Knight uh, discard uh, from the deck to the graveyard but also this is another way to control the dark monsters in your graveyard uh, for those key times bring out uh, dark arm dragon Wipe out the, the field, uh, get the Exceeds monster, then feed more Dark Monsters in the graveyard. Really good utility piece. And then for the 1-0s, we run the 1 Bombless Trap Hole, 1 Convulsion, and another deviation I went from the Trap lineup, I uh, went 1 Trap Chicks uh, Trap Hole of Nightmare. Mainly because uh, this does... Uh, uh, the same thing as the uh, other uh, counter trap that uh, on Kogorasho's channel, um, aside from the destructive side. And it's also a normal trap card, so it gets that free set whenever I need it from backjack, and it just helps a little more of the defense, in my opinion. That's it for the main deck. On to the extra deck. Again, for the first uh, slots, I kept this simple one Black Ship, Honor Arc, Exciton, Dark Rebellion, Sky Blaster. Emerald and Cowboy. Keeping it simple right there. And then for the other pieces, I've got uh, one Blade Armor Ninja. Play, again, pretty fair amount of Warriors in here. Definitely a good uh, way to OTK your opponent in some games. Abyss Dweller for Grave Control. Then I run double Levolvel Chain. Two m might be uh, too many in here for some people, but. Just because this uh, guy is a huge utility piece where it's build to the graveyard or stack on top of your deck to get that free plus from Archfiend's Oath, you do not want to be uh, having the scenario that uh, one of these guys gets negated and you don't have another one to, for the follow-up. Having two of them in here keeps you alive in uh, most of the games that you play. And then I also run one number 66, Master Key Beetle. Tons of dark monsters to use from the build, and sometimes you do not want your Archfiend's Oath uh, dying that quickly. So this is a very nice protector for that card. And then uh, for the Instant Fusion targets, 
Sadly, Noden is not out yet, but these three work uh, just as well. I've got one Camion Wizard, mainly for the fact that level 4 Dark, and he's 13 under attack, so he is uh, not a bottomless target. Dark Fire Dragon, mainly there for another Earth or uh, Dark Attribute target. And then one Carbonola Warrior for those times where he just wanted to go into Blade Armor Ninja and uh, set off the OTK right there. And with that, that is my Convulsion of Nature deck profile. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time.